While we have talked with Adam Carver and Solon Stockade employees from both past and present, one former employee eventually went on to start up his own restaurant right here on Murray State's campus. If you've attended Murray State at all in the past five years, odds are you've at least heard of the place, the Burrito Shack. Opened in October 2009 by former Solon Stockade employee and MSU alum Matt Jingles, Burrito Shack takes on the theme of a Mexican subway as Jingles described. We saw similar places like this around and you know we noticed that Murray didn't have anything like that and uh, so my, I was actually working at Dell and uh, my dad called me and uh, he asked me if you know wanted to open up a restaurant with him so we're like sure you know uh, I didn't too much care for my job at Dell and so I, was, I jumped at the chance and you know we came back here and started getting things rolling looking at places to rent or buy and uh, started coming up with a business plan and uh, you know once we found this place started buying equipment getting the food uh, figuring out how we're going to do things coming up with recipes things like that many moons ago jingles worked under adam carver as an employee at serlon stockade although jingles has a degree in business administration he claimed that most of his knowledge of running a business came from common sense and working at sirloin though i mean mr carver definitely you know has the way he do, does things um, it's a very set way and so, you know, just watching him do that and then just working under him and, you know, it was him, you know, owning that place and uh, that was really helpful. And just uh, the day to day things that we did there, you know, busing and, uh, you know, I just got to see every aspect of the business, you know, kind of when we were there except for the, you know, the, the, the book part of it. But uh, everything else as far as, you know, grilling the front of the house, back of the house, you know, all that stuff. The atmosphere as far as, I mean, it's pretty laid back. You know, people there, most everybody that hires there. I mean, you work in a kitchen, you know, you get used to certain kind of people, and those are, you know, really the kind of people that you come in contact with. And but for the most part, it's pretty laid back. Got to have a lot of fun while you were there, you know, working. So it makes time go by faster. Uh, I think uh, mostly uh, running your own business or any business is just mostly common sense. Um, you know, you learn a few things in school, and, you know, a few things did help me out. But as far as that, like just common sense, you know, I mean, anybody can do it as long as, you know, you put your mind to it and, you know, you're able to pull off what you need to pull off. As for the future Burrito Shack, nothing is set in stone just yet, but Jingles is optimistic about where the restaurant could be heading. Most places, you know, would like to open up, you know, second, third stores, stuff like that, you know, the more stores you got, more money you make. So um, for right now, uh, we'll probably just keep this one, uh, see how it goes, um, you know, open up another store, you know, costs a lot of money and so in order to do that you know you open up one save up some money until you get the money to open up another one so we'll probably do something like that but yeah we definitely want to uh, definitely want to expand though.